ask you then. So what, what's your what's your biggest challenge with with growing your channel at the moment? Um, I don't really know what I want the channel to be. Okay, what do you mean? Um, so I guess I'm doing the podcast, but like you, I've always, well, clearly not always, but for a long time, wanted to be a YouTuber in some some aspect. But okay. I don't really know what to do it in um, and how to go about executing it. What to do it in and how to execute it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, and it goes back to the conversation we were start, started with in a lot of people say that to do it, you obviously can't expect the money side of things. So I'm like, okay, so I need to do this as a hobby then if, if I'm going into it that way, in which case I'm just talking about what I like. So what, what am I doing it for? What do you mean by you can't accept that you can't expect the money side of things? Um, so yeah. Okay. So, so a lot of people say that if you're going to do YouTube, you, it's, it's kind of like a passion project because mm. the whole monetization thing is, is a not guaranteed and B is almost like if you're lucky, you get it and therefore go into it, not expecting it like that and not treating it like a business or anything. Um, so it's kind of a passion project and therefore you might enjoy it more as well. And it doesn't become a chore. Mm, interesting. How much do you buy that line of reasoning? Well, I suppose I've put one video up in in the last five years, so clearly something's not working. Mm. <laughs> um, but it's interesting, and it's interesting that you said at the beginning that you kind of went into it fully eyes wide open. Of actually, this is a something I want to grow because um, I hadn't really properly considered it because it, it then changes how you approach it. It does. It, it 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 does very much so. So I'm 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 asking all these questions because I am working. I, th I think I might have mentioned this to you when we when we spoke, uh, but I'm working on like a course aimed at people who want to take YouTube seriously. And by take it seriously, I mean they recognize it as a business opportunity, and they want to do and they want to set themselves up for success. So this is either beginners who haven't yet started the channel but know they want to hit the ground running, or yeah. people who are struggling with growing an existing channel but haven't been able to do that could go do it consistently or even people who have thriving channels but know they want to take it to the next level by doing things like hiring a team and yeah. it's based around the premise that one way of looking at a youtube channel is by thinking of it as you know as i said kind of a, a, a personal a, a personal project this is a bit of fun i'm talking about the stuff that i enjoy yeah. but i'm not actually taking it seriously i'm going to be an amateur and the other way of thinking of a youtube channel is i'm going to be a professional i'm going to treat this as a business and i'm going to be the ceo of that business and I'm going to figure out what works and I'm going to try and do my best to make this business work with the caveat that, of course, I want to enjoy the process along the way. Um, and so my course is very much aimed at that second group of people who view YouTube as like a business opportunity rather than people who view it as a personal passion project. Uh, I'm curious, though, because I've also very much heard and I, and I think I've even given this advice sometimes, which I now regret this, the, this kind of myth that don't expect to make money on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um because i think i think i think that's a bit weird right because it's like uh, in in a way don't expect to make money on youtube it, it's it's got the right idea and the idea behind that question uh, behind that statement is it's hard to make money on youtube therefore you shouldn't expect to uh because if you expect it too early and it doesn't happen soon it doesn't happen very soon you're going to you're going to give up kind of like the advice for people going to the gym is don't expect results in week 1 Expect yeah. results in week like 11, because at that point, you'll or at week 21, equally for people who lose weight, don't expect any results in week one. Don't bother tracking your weight like every single day, like do it week by week, find an average. And over time, you will find that you lose weight. Yeah. Um, I think it's similar with YouTube. I think don't expect to monetize on day one, but you absolutely can approach it with a mindset that this is a business opportunity and I do want to monetize at some point. That's okay that's very interesting and i and as as you're saying that i'm kind of thinking maybe it's my approach of thinking it's a passion project is why i haven't done anything because i'm like oh i need to find i want to and it goes back to motivation but i want to want to do this and although i say yeah i'm going to do it when it comes to actually doing it i'm not following through but mm -hmm. it's interesting because if you then phrase it as a business does that reframe it and say actually it's almost like i'm going to work i have to do this i have to get things out yeah and and will that enjoyment actually come because i'm still going to be talking about things i enjoy 
whilst paying attention to things. That's very interesting. Yeah, I think it's that interesting, interesting middle ground between. Uh, I, I I think you can, I think you can over hedge, and the people who sort of subscribe to the do YouTube as a passion, not not for the money, I feel are over hedging because they're saying. I, I, I recognize that it's probably not going to make money, at least not initially. Therefore, I don't, I don't even want to think about it. And I very much have this approach to a lot of goals where I won't even think about setting like a, a quote, ambitious goal because I, I just want to enjoy the process and, and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think there is some level of like, we, we, we have to delude ourselves into thinking that we don't care about the goal when actually we do care about the goal. I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't fully figured out where I stand on the goals front, but I think you definitely can and should arguably approach YouTube as a business challenge rather than as a, as a hobby, Un unless you genuinely just want to do it as a hobby, in which case, sure, yes. fine, go <laughs> yeah. wild, knock yourself out. Yeah. But if you're in that people who is like doing it as a hobby, but, but actually you would love to make money from YouTube and you would think it would be sick to have passive income from YouTube, yes. but you're approaching it as a hobby because you're not willing to put in the work, that is a bad category of person to be in. That's me. I'm in the bad person category, <laughs> big time. Um, like